hi. So this is my girlfriend. This is the first time that she's ever been in one of my videos. But funnily enough, this isn't the first time that my girlfriend's credit cards have appeared in one of my videos. For those that remember, I made a What's in My Girlfriend's Wallet video back in 2022. And to just recap what credit card she had in her wallet at the time, it was the US Bank Cash Plus credit card, the Discover It Cashback credit card, the Verizon Cashback credit card, and the Chase Freedom Flex. As you can see, she's no beginner in the credit card world. And today, she's getting her very first travel credit card. The Chase Sapphire Preferred. <laughs> Which unlocks Chase's 14 different unique transfer partners, including one of the best transfer partners within the credit card world. Currently, if you didn't know, there's two limited time sign-up bonus offers for this card. The first is an in-brand sign-up bonus offer that consists of two spending requirements. The first is an 80,000 point sign-up bonus offer after spending $4,000 within the first three months of account opening. Following that, the second part of it is spending an additional $2,000 within the first six months of account opening for an additional 10,000 points, which if you do the math, totals up to 90,000 ultimate reward points. The second limited time sign-up bonus offer that just became available online or through referral links is an 80,000 point offer after spending $4,000 within the first three months of account opening. Very similar to the in-branch offer without that extra $2,000 spending requirement. And that's exactly what my girlfriend will be applying for today. Before we apply, here's some other additional information that you need to know about the Chase Sapphire Preferred. For ways certain options, this card gets you 5x back on travel purchase through Chase's Ultimate Rewards Portal. 2x back on other travel purchases, which is good for a variety of travel related purchases, which I'd like to point out is actually pretty versatile as a lot of the other credit card issuers don't cover as many. 3x back on dining, including eligible delivery services and takeout and dining out. 3x back on online grocery store purchases. 3 X back on select streaming services and then 1x back on everything else. Additionally, with the Chase Sapphire Preferred, you also get 5x back on Lyft rides through March 31st, 2025, a DoorDash subscription for at least one year when you activate it by December 31st, 2024, and a Sicard Plus subscription for six months with a $15 statement credit each quarter, a GoPuff $10 monthly statement credit through December 31st, 2023, a $50 annual alternate rewards hotel credit that can be used through Chase's travel portal. And after each account anniversary, you earn bonus points equal to 10% of your total purchases made in the previous year. So for example, if you spent $50,000 on your Chase Sapphire Preferred in the previous year, you'd earn an additional 5,000 ultimate reward points all for $95 per year. And finally, let's go over Grace's credit score just to make sure that she qualifies. She has an impressive 772 Experian FICO score, which is pretty impressive, and six total inquiries with only two of them being actual inquiry for personal credit cards. And just to remind you that Chase does have that 524 Chase jail rule, where you can get approved for most Chase personal cards if you've opened up five or more personal credit cards within the past 24 months. Keywords being personal and credit cards. And since my girlfriend has an amazing credit score and is also under Chase's 524 rule, let's get to applying. So you always wanna make sure to use a referral link because everybody loves free money and so why not share the love? For graces, we'll be using one of my friends, you guys might know him within the credit card world, Joshua Butler. And you always wanna make sure that a sign up bonus offer is the correct one. And with that, let's get into this application process. A few moments later. Right, let's see if you get it. We might have to call. We'll see. Just, see. Just because you're experienced though. What? Oh no! We're gonna have to call them. Why? We're gonna have to call. Why? I don't know why you got Oh, it's because of the experience stuff, so you're gonna have to call them. Alright, let's proceed with the calling. All right, so it's day number two. We're gonna be calling the reconsideration line to see if Chase will reconsider Grace's new travel credit card. Thank you. And how can I help you with this application? Yeah, so the application got rejected immediately, but I 
think it's because there's like too many inquiries from my experience but they're from like inquiries not actual like loans that I took or accepted so allow me to review the application first to see the current status okay. and then I'll share the updates with you I have the the type of credit card that you applied for it's the Chase Sapphire preferred Thank you. And upon checking here as of 23rd of April at exactly 9.29 in the evening, we were not able to approve the application due to the number of recently opened accounts on credit reports. And you will receive a copy of this letter outlining the decision reasons within one to two weeks. And by the way, since this application is currently in a declined state, if you plan to submit another application under the same credit card, you may do so after 30 days. By the way, ma'am, for this reason, are you aware about the 524 rule here in Chase? Uh, hey, sir. Um, I'm uh, Grace's boyfriend, and I want to chime in on this. So we know that Ch uh, Chase basically checks through Experian. Um, Grace has only ever applied for two personal credit cards. The rest of the inquiries are not related to personal credit cards. Uh, by the way, sir, the decision reason that we have here on Grace's application is not from the um, experience. We use the TransUnion as a source of um, credit information. Okay. And the for the 25 rule, it, it is a rule here in Chase where you can't be approved with most of the Chase cards if you have opened five or more credit cards with any bank or card issuer within the past 24 months. And it, it's it doesn't matter if it's a business credit card or a personal credit card. Even if you're an authorized user in a credit card, if it's reflecting on your credit report, that is being counted in the 524 rule. Yes, sir. Regardless of that, she should be under 524. She's only ever opened up, I believe, two to three credit cards within that same time period. Every other inquiry on TransUnion should be in regards to a mortgage claim that she did uh, in the past. So in total... So, Risa, mm -hmm. currently how many credit cards is um, associated with Grace that has been opened for less than 24, 24 months? It should be her Chase Freedom Flex, uh, Verizon, and U.S. Bank. Those should be the three within the last 24 months. Is she, is she an authorized user in any credit card? She is an authorized user with my Capital One Venture X credit card, but that should not be affecting her 524 status. Oh, that is being included in our 524 filter if it's in the Grace's um, credit report. Okay, regardless, that should still be 424, not 524 or over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So to all in all, there's four cards that is currently associated with Grace. Uh, yes, sir. All right. Um, let me just check which department is currently working on this application. Sounds so good. So we can also request for further assistance. But uh, before I connect this call over to one of our lending departments, is there anything else that I can assist you with? Uh, no. This is it. All right. Be sent one, and I'll be back with the support specialist with me. Okay. Sounds good. How may I know your name, sir? Uh, Eric, E-R-I-C. Thank you. Waiting, 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 waiting. What if it takes forever? It, the, dude, the dude said it wrong. The Why? Chase, Chase, the Chase 524 rule is five personal credit cards within the last 24 months. He says months. it's not personal. Yeah, but he referenced it as both business and personal yeah. and authorized, which isn't the case. Are you sure? It should not affect it. Authorized credit cards don't apply. Hello, Mr. Eric? Yes. Thank you so much for uh, patiently waiting. 
So I agree. I was my colleague that can further assist you. So I'll be excusing myself now. And thank you for calling, Chase. Have a great day to the bottom of you. Goodbye. All right. Thank you. And thank you for calling, Chase. My name is Cassidy. Hi. Um, I'm calling you. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Uh, yes, ma'am. Alrighty, and how may I assist you guys today? Yeah, so we're calling in regards to the Chase Sapphire Preferred. Um, the previous person said that the reason for the decline was that there were too many recent inquiries uh, towards Grace's 524 rule status. Um, from my understanding, the 524 rule only applies to personal credit cards. Uh, open within the last 24 months. Um, I believe that Grace had six inquiries, but three, I think three or four of them are towards a mortgage instead of opening up an actual personal credit card. So her 524 status should be under 524. Okay, I can definitely double check that. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, no problem. A few moments later, Yeah, so that should be, did you say four cars, I think, right? Um, no, so it was the Chase, the U.S. Bank, Capital One, and two Symphony cards. Mm -hmm. Two Just Symphony Verizon. cards. Authorized users for Verizon. Do the authorized? Verizon. For the Capital One bench, uh, for the Capital One card, I remember reading that uh, authorized users don't count towards the 524 status, is that correct? Um, so if the customer isn't responsible for making payments on the card. Yeah, she is not responsible. That card is mine. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. A few moments later. <laughs> Thank you so much for your patience. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, I was able to get this card here approved for the credit line name with $10,000. Nice. You will receive this card in the mail within one to two business days along with a welcome package. And if you, do you have any questions for me? Uh, no, thank you. No? Oh, no, well, the referral the link that I opened up the credit card with, will they still get their referral points? Correct. Nice. As long as you use the referral link. Okay, cool. Thank you. No problem. You have a great day. Yeah, you too. Bye-bye. Uh -huh. Nice. You got your first travel credit card. Can I be out of the video now? <laughs> yeah, bye. <laughs> and today she's getting her very first travel credit card. <laughs> the Chase Sapphire <laughs> So you're just gonna, it's just gonna come in from the side. Okay. So I do have the frame. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> 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 now what? You're supposed to stay in front. Oh.